Hello, good morning, my dear friends. Today our topic is Green's theorem. Proof of the Green's theorem. What is Green's theorem and proof of the Green's theorem and some important pro problems for make you to understand better. Earlier two theorems are using on the vector fields that is gas divergence theorem or Stokes theorem they are used on they are applicable on vectors whereas green theorem another uh, actually working on scalar fields or scalar functions okay let us understand green theorem first the green theorem is named after george green a mathematician and physician um, green's theorem gives the relationship between a line integral around a simple closed curve c and a double integral of, over the plane region d bounded by c okay this is basic thing line integral and surface integral if uh, phi and psi they are the two scalar point functions this point is very very important they are the scalar point functions phi and psi they are scalar point functions such that these functions are their first derivatives are continuously differentiable in a region bounded by a closed surface s then we have volume integral phi del square psi plus del phi dot del psi into dv is equal to surface integral phi del psi dot ds this is one form there is another form for green's theorem that is uh, volume integral v phi del square psi minus psi del square phi into dv is equal to surface integral phi del psi minus psi del phi dot ds okay maybe you feel that this is uh, something very difficult to understand no 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 it i will teach you how to make it uh, how to remember it very easily how to understand very easily few things you have to remember green theorem is applicable on point scalar functions they are phi and psi this is phi and psi okay they are the scalar point functions another point is they okay so let us understand this proof mathematical form of the gas divergence theorem we know that the gas divergence theorem in earlier class we studied about the gas divergence theorem okay integral v or volume integral divergence of a into dv is equal to surface integral a dot ds surface integral a dot ds okay see my dear friends you you read this sentence you will understand if you don't understand i will tell you the reason or logic del psi is a vector of course say for example phi is a scalar if phi is a scalar del phi obviously a vector it is a gradient similarly when psi is a scalar del psi obviously a vector we should write like this so i should write like this so because del psi bar is a vector quantity therefore some vector into some a is a scalar number then del psi 
again a vector right similarly del psi this component it is a vector my dear friends because gradient of psi this gradient of psi we are multiplying with uh, this another scalar another scalar this is another scalar then again what will happen again what will happen my dear friends the entire psi into del phi into del psi is a vector quantity right so simply i should write like this a bar i am calling it as this i am calling it as a bar is a vector that vector i am defining it as uh, phi into del psi because del psi is a gradient of psi is a vector multiplying this vector with uh, this scalar function phi again a vector so that vector i name it as a that vector i am naming it as a bar a bar so it is good to write like this a bar okay let us move on my dear friends so obviously we know that any uh, any uh, arbitrary vector or any vector function right, field uh, we we can write it in the in terms of the components i bar into ax plus j bar into ay plus j k, k, k bar into az so that is it that equal to phi into uh, i do psi by do ax plus j bar do psi by do y plus k bar do psi by do z ax equal to so this one this this point for this point my dear friends this this is there no so phi into del psi so first of all del psi means uh, we know that del psi del del psi oh sorry this del into psi equal to i into do by do x plus j into do by do y plus k into do by do z right so into psi so that means that means this one or otherwise that equal to do psi by do x into y plus do psi by do y into j plus do psi by do z into k like that so into phi so that means phi in phi into do psi by do x into y bar phi into do psi by do y into z bar phi into do psi by do z into k bar so that means ix equal to simply you can write phi into do psi by do x ay equal to phi into do psi by do y az into phi into do psi by do z therefore dy a bar equal to dy a bar equal to do x by do x do ay by a y do az by az so that's it so substituting the values of ax ay az then dy a equal to dy a equal to del dot of so do by do x of psi into do x by do x plus do by do y into phi into do psi by do y plus do by do z into phi into do psi by do x obviously so just simply multiplying this into log inside so phi into do square psi by do x square plus so do phi by do x into do psi by do x uh, plus uh, phi into do square psi by do y square plus uh, do phi by do y into do psi by do y plus phi into do square psi by do z square plus do phi by do z that do psi by do z simple my dear friends first of all what we uh, go back so first of all what we are doing is uh, this function we we call it as phi into del psi we call it as uh, a bar so a bar in components we are writing uh, right hand side we are expanding the values so equating with to the left hand side right hand side therefore we are taking the divergence so divergence obviously this one do by do x so both the types so phi we are taking the common do square psi by do x square plus do square phi psi by do y square plus do square psi by do z square plus do phi by do x into do psi by do y do x plus do phi by do y into do psi by do y 
plus do phi by do z into do psi by do z okay so this one oh, phi into del square psi plus uh, del phi dot del psi see this my dear friends this is a vector this is again a vector gradients of phi and gradient of psi so we are taking this dot product substituting the value of dy a bar from equation 3 and 4 we are just substituting those values so, so once we, we substitute them lhs equal to rhs my dear friends so this is green's first theorem this is first theorem so in a nutshell what we are doing is so values this equation 3 equation 4 so well, 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 you see, we, we are substituting them, okay. So, uh, LHS and RHS, these values we are taking and substituting them, okay. Interchanging phi and psi in equation A, we get uh, volume integral uh, psi del square phi plus uh, del psi dot del phi into dv equal to surface integral psi del phi dot uh, ds or del s. So, sub, uh, subtracting equation 5 and a, uh, equation a, we get uh, this one that is volume integral phi del square psi minus psi del square phi into dv equal to surface integral phi del psi minus psi del phi dot ds bar. This is known as Green's uh, second theorem, my dear friends. Okay. So, simple substituting the values. Okay. So, next uh, important point is. Uh, practice problems solving the practice problems so two two problems to, uh, today we are going to discuss two problems so, so that it will be very uh, easy for you to understand the things if you don't understand still we will uh, discuss uh, uh, the issue in detail uh, i prefer it uh, one by one one by one method i prefer it so practice problems we uh, let us see uh, c is a closed curve it is a closed curve x square y into dx uh, plus uh, y x q plus y square into dy okay so that closed curve is like uh, as shown in the figure in red red dotted uh, red lines it is shown in uh, red lines so even the points are given x and y uh, 4 2 and 4 8 and uh, 0 0 from uh, so the, it's a triangle of course i need not tell you you can easily understand in the, so integral c x square y square into dx plus uh, y x q plus y square into dy equal to minus integral minus c x square y square into dx plus uh, y x q plus y square into dy y x q plus y square into dy Integral minus c x square y square into dx plus uh, y x q plus y square into dy. Phi equal to x square y square psi equal to y x q plus uh, y square. Psi equal to y x q plus uh, y square. Phi equal to we call it as uh, phi equal to x square plus y square psi equal to y x q plus y square. Therefore x square y square into dx plus y x q plus y square into dy is equal to uh, integral d so surface integral this one is 3 y x square minus 2 y x square into da that equal to integral double integral y x square into da so substituting the values of this limits we uh, x value is uh, you come back my dear friends how this x and y they are changing so the maximum x value is 4 and z, z, uh, minimum is 0 so between 4 and 0 and 4 x value vary whereas the y value is changing between minus 8 to plus 2 okay so we are going to substitute the values of this so 0 is less uh, less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4 minus 2x is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to half x okay so substituting these values integral minus c over uh, x square y square dx plus uh, yx cube plus y square into dy equal double integral d yx square into da 
that equal to integral 0 to 4 integral minus 2 x true half, half x y x square dy into dx that equal to integral 0 to 4 half y square x square minus 2 x to half x into dx integral 0 to 4 minus 15 by 8 x power 4 into dx that equal to minus 3 x 5 by 8 0 to 4 substituting the values the value is equal to minus 384 minus 384 okay friends so the this is about by using this method of Green's theorem oh, this one next one next problem use the Green's theorem to evaluate uh, integral of y power 4 minus 2y into dx minus of 6x minus 4xy cube into dy okay so it's rectangle of course you can see that from uh, x value from 0 to 6 and y value 0 to 4 okay phi equal to y y power 4 minus 2y psi equal to minus of 6x minus 4xy cube that equal 4xy cube minus 6x using the green stain on the line integral becomes integral c over c y power 4 minus 2y into dx minus 4y uh, 4xy cube minus 6x into dy that equal to surface integral of 4y cube minus 6 minus of 4y cube minus 2 into dA that equal to integral surface integral d minus 4 dA that equal to minus 4 into surface integral d dA that equal to minus 4 of area of d that equal to minus 4 into 6 into 4 that equal to substituting the best values 96 minus 96 okay so this is all for today my dear friends those who are having the need uh, doubts you can ping me on my email or you can drop and you can even drop the uh, your droughts uh, below this uh, video and uh, of course uh, you are free to leave a mail to my mail, mail id and uh, uh, after this my dear friends once class is starting we uh, the uh, problems and uh, material is ready make it ready for you people uh, you can take uh, print out of that and you may read it okay so in the next uh, so far we we completed what is scalar function what is vector function and uh, their integrals and divergence curl uh, gradient all the concepts we in detail discussed and that three theorems three major theorems of vector analysis that is stokes theorem gauss theorem and green's theorem have been completed tomorrow's class that will be the last class in vector analysis we are going to deal only only the problems in the entire vector calculus lesson only the problems in the next session we are going to discuss with that we will close the vector analysis and we will start the next lesson my dear friends so if you have any doubt please 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 study your previous things and come with your doubts we will clear the doubt session first one for doubt session we will have after completing that only you, we will go to the next lesson okay next chapter okay thank you this is all for today